When you hear people like Robert Kiyosaki, they say your 401k is made for poor people who work for money and it will never make you rich. Then you hear people like Ramsey saying that you should invest 15% of your income into the 401k to be good for retirement. But both guys are multimillionaires and know what they're saying. So where is the truth? In this video, I will crunch the numbers for a 401k where you use it the right way and the wrong way and show you that there is a lot of money to be made if you know what you're doing. So stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Jaime Chikaiben and I welcome you to my channel The Foreigner in America where I teach locals and foreigners everything they need to know about producing money, keeping money and multiplying it, specializing in the markets and real estate. So if you're someone like myself who loves money and wants to be successful and free, please subscribe to this great channel and hit that bell so you follow up on my two weekly videos. Also, check out my blog and my other social media. And take a look at my book, which I will leave a link below for you to check out. So without further ado, let's begin. A 401k is a retirement account set for a person to invest pre-tax dollars up to a certain amount throughout 30 plus years. So they are protected and can live the rest of the years without a job. That's pretty much it. A little more complicated, but we don't care. When you work for a company like an employee, the company paying you a salary or the employer is forced to give you a 401k option. This is talking about full-time employees or 40 hours a week. So some companies will do a 401k match as a benefit, which means that whatever you choose to withdraw from your salary and put it in the 401k, they will give you an extra amount for free. Companies that do this usually require employees to stay three to five years in the company or otherwise they lose all the money. Your 401k is invested in the markets, meaning it has a due date when you turn 65. And the further away you are from being 65 means it will be invested more in stocks, which are riskier. And the closer you get to the due date, more money will be in bonds and cash to reduce risk. Why not just put 100% of your salary into the 401k and not pay any taxes? Well, two reasons. One, how would you eat if that's your only source of income? And two, it's illegal. The IRS, which is now in risk of being eliminated by Congress, places limits for the amount of money you can invest in the 401k every year. But it's my money! Nope, it's the IRS money as well. So that's why it's limited. For 2023, the limit you can withdraw from your salary and invest in a 401k is $22,500. Your employer will ask you for a percentage of your income to invest. So depending on how much you make, you can do a 5%, 10%, etc. Let's say you make $80,000 before taxes and you say 5% to your 401k. So that's $4,000 a year. Easy, right? The average 401k contribution today is 7%. Only a small percentage of employees place 10% or more. Let's run the numbers. This is the good part. The average pay in the US today is $53,490, according to jobted.com. If you take the average 7% contribution with no company match for 40 years, Meaning, age 25 to 65, these are the numbers. If you start at age 25 with zero money in your 401k, you work for 25 years at average pay, which doesn't happen since you get pay raises, but just for the purpose of simplicity, will not consider them monthly deposit of $312 per month for 480 months or 40 years, at an 8% return in the markets gives you a million dollars, 11,442.81 at age 65. This, my friend, is the wrong way to use a 401k. And it's the way the government wants you to use it. You will live with 4% of this every year. So 40,000 a year before taxes. 
If the brackets are the same as they are today, that's $3,000 per month in 40 years. This means you're poor. A salary of $53,490, if you add a 3% every year for inflation, in 40 years, guess how much it is? $174,486. So, and you're happy because in 40 years, you will be able to get $40,000 a year? That is why people end up broke and miserable in retirement. Allow me to show you the right way to do it. And give me a like and subscribe if you like this and watch till the end. A 401k is not only meant to be for employees. It's a retirement account for people who work on a company or on their own. If you're a lawyer or contractor or whatever, you can open a retirement account as well. Let's say you're tired of making 53000 a year and working 80 hours to get paid when you really worked 120 hours and weekends and your boss or the owners don't even care. And you start a business, anything you like. There are a million ways you can make money online or physically. You go and create a company called a corporation. Is it hard to do? No. Do you need a minimum income to create a corporation? No. The nice thing about a corporation is that you can own 100% of it and also be hired by it. You become an employee of your own company. What do employees get when they're hired by any company? You guessed right, a 401k. So your company is giving yourself a 401k. The 401k account has two different limits. The limit an employee can contribute from their salary, which is 22500 and the limit a company and the employee can contribute, which is $66,000 for 2023. What does this mean? This means that if your business makes 100000 a year, and you, and you, as an employee, the only one, you get whatever salary you want, let's say 30000 So you, as an employee, choose to contribute a 5%, which is 1500 a year. That's nothing. The company, which is own and control the money from will contribute the rest of the money all the way to sixty six thousand dollars the money that the company contributes is tax deductible meaning that 21 percent corporate tax on EBITDA will only hit what's left after paying your salary and benefits of course you will hire an accountant to do this properly not to get audited by the 80,000 new IRS agents hungry for money. Now, let me run the numbers. By maxing out the 401k every year for 40 years at 66,000 a year with the help of your own business at an 8% return will give you the amount of 17,829,921 dollars. That is way better than the stupid a million dollars you will get the average way of doing this. But Jaime, I'm not a business owner and will never be a business owner. Okay, that's a pity, but I got you. There are good options for you. These are your options and I will run the numbers as well. Number one, max out the 22,500 per year out of your salary. If you do that, you have to be making a killer salary like 150 plus, but it's possible though. In 40 years, you can be worth a little over $6 million. I'm saying it's hard because when you are 25, you're barely making any money. Number two, max out the 22,000. Max out the 22,500 per year from your salary and add money as personal contributions. When you max out the 401k account, you can still add personal contributions, but these are after tax. So when you withdraw them, they will not incur any tax. You can also do this through an IRA account, both pre and post tax. The idea of just putting away a miserable amount of money into an account and expect to live like a king in 40 years is impossible. People are lying to you. $40,000 before taxes in 40 years with inflation, it's like a thousand bucks a month today. God forbid you need medical attention. The idea of making a million dollars 40 years from now is not valid anymore. Living off 4% or 40,000 a year before taxes is not valid as well. 
How much money do you need to live comfortably as a 65 year old man or woman today? Add a 3% inflation into that number for 40 years or 30 or 20, whatever the case is for you. And that's your real number, not 40,000 a year. The saddest thing is that a huge percentage of Americans get to age 65 and they don't even have those 40,000 a year to retire. That's the most important part of this video, so stay with me and don't feel insulted by my words. Poverty is a cancer and it kills you. There's stage one, two, three, and four cancer. Same with money. Taking exceptions and unicorns away, most cases of cancer are a series of bad decisions for 40 years with your body. No person gets lung cancer at 65 because they smoked two or three cigarettes at age 64. Same with cirrhosis and alcohol abuse. It's each and every weekend, every day, one bad decision after another and another, and never thinking about the future or the consequences of your actions. If you want to die with stage four financial cancer at age 70, struggling to get three warm meals a day, forget my words. Right now you're young, healthy, able to work and produce an income. Guess what? Unless you're a vampire from Twilight, it's all gonna end the same way for every human being. Some sooner than others. You see people on the streets, and while I don't judge why I don't know how they end up there, I know one thing. They did not take good decisions. There's a reason Ramsey screams at you and tells you you're stupid. He's a multimillionaire and wants you, at least, to be able to survive when you're 65. Of course, it's his business, but he's right in many things. If you think 40000 a year before taxes will help you live 40 years from now, you're terribly wrong. What will happen is that any money you have in the 401k, you will drain it in five years. And then what? You will end up working in Walmart bagging groceries or outside asking for help. That is not the life I want for you. Not everyone is born to be Bill Gates or Steve Jobs and change the way the world works. I get it. But no one deserves financial cancer at age 65 or 75. Just because you were not able to save a single dollar when you were young. That trip had to be done. That Amazon card had to be bought. Zero delayed gratification. Run your numbers. Whatever number of years you want to retire, whatever income you want, add a 3% inflation every year until then and use the 401k, IRA, or any kind of investment like real estate, stocks, etc. to maximize every dollar you make while still enjoying life. If you want the big bucks, then you got to change the world for millions of people. That's it. No magic tricks or easy money. But remember, take control of your life and take control of your money. So thanks a lot for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found useful information, give me a like. Subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any one of my two weekly videos as soon as they come out. So have a great day. Don't lose any money. And I'll see you next time.